and welcome to the ARCS. We're live here at Atlanta Super Speedway for the running of the Quick Trip 40. Let's take a look at our top 10 qualifiers for today's race. Starting on the pole is Brandy Harper with a time of 28.3 seconds. In second is the number nine of Deacon Gentleman. In third, Ellie Buss. In fourth, Denzel Scott. Fifth, Tyler Seville. In sixth, Noah Hobson. In seventh, Dmitry Yanukovych. In eighth, Pedro Perez. In ninth, Sean Carson. And rounding out your top 10, Beth Sanders. Let's take a look at the rest of your field in today's race. And the pace car dives off here at Atlanta, and we're about to get things started for the second race of the ARCS season. The green flag is out, and we're underway here in Atlanta. Brandy Harper takes the point early in this race as she's trying to run away from all the other hungry drivers trying to get into the playoffs this season. Last week's winner, Jacob Bradley, is... Almost dead last in this one. Did not have a good qualifying session, and he'll have a lot of ground to make up here. The 33 of Ellie Buss is stalking that seven car of Brandy Harper, and they are trying to run away from the pack here early. Dimitri on the bottom pushing the two of Tyler Seville, trying to get something working on the bottom, but they are... Not gaining ground on those top two drivers, but the nine car of Deacon Jenema is going to look low on the 33 and make a fantastic dive bomb there, but I don't think it's going to stick. Oh, and the 38 almost punted the two in that corner as the 99 car of Sean Carson had to lay on the brakes there. Try not to take out the rest of the field. The 11, the 11 of Denzel Scott having a hard time in the outside lane trying to gain any momentum toward the front as the top couple drivers trying to pace themselves early in today's race at Atlanta. Only going to be 26 laps around this circuit. As the 33 car is drafting up inside of the 7, and the 33 is going to dive bomb the 7 car of Brandy Harper, and we're 2x2 two two for the lead here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. The nine car is, oh, the nine car is going to take it three wide. Deacon Gentleman for the lead, and he's going to pass both of them, no. And the 33 is going to hold steady in the middle, but the seven might have a run up high. And we are almost three wide for the fifth lap, almost sixth lap of the race here at Atlanta. Oh, my goodness, and the two car is going to go to the middle of the track. Tyler Seville making a desperate move to the inside of both of these cars, and the race for the lead has heated up intensely. Three wide for third place, and the seven car of Brandy Harper, our pole sitter, is getting shuffled out to the outside lane and is already back to, I believe, fifth or sixth place. I was not expecting that. Three car battle for the lead, and it brought everybody up to the front of the front of the pack here at Atlanta. It's the 99 car of Sean Carson, who was having a little bit of trouble early, pushing, I believe, the two car of Seville is now got some breathing room here. Doesn't have anybody. Whoa, and he makes a, a dive bomb to the bottom. They're taking the seven car and the 38 of Dimitri, three wide. And the nine is trying to push the 33 away from the pack so he can make a clean pass here. The nine looks low, and I think they'll be side by side coming off a turn two here. And I think the nine car might have the advantage on the bottom, maybe. We'll see as they come out of turn three here for the lead. Lap seven of 26 here complete in the quick trip 40. Whoa, and the 31 car nearly punted the 42 car. Um, I believe that 42 car of Mike Ware into the 51 and the 38 in that corner, but 31 backed off and has now created a second pack there from his mistake. 
looks like that 33 is trying to draft with that 9 car and desperately try to get away from this pack because 33 and the 9 know that if they get side by side, the cars behind are going to catch up quite quickly, as we'll see here on the backstretch, hopefully. As the 7 and the 99 gain ground here. And the 7 car is gained a lot of ground, is going to... Oh, almost get the lead there. 33 shuts the door, and the 9 car is going to get stuck on the outside line here, coming to the stripe. I believe this will be 10 of 26 complete here as we complete this lap. And, yep, 10 of 26 complete here in Atlanta. Oh, and the 9 car is getting put three wide. 99, 7, and 9 are all together, but it looks like the 7 car of Brandy Harper will prevail, the pole sitter. Ooh, the 55 car of Marin Kozarch is taking that, ooh, is trying to take that spot from the 99 of Sean Carson, but I don't think we'll get it. And I believe the 11 car might take a look to the inside. Denzel Scott, ooh, maybe full wide. The 11 car spun by the 51 car and Denzel Scott hits the wall hard. Tyler Seville, and this is gonna be a big wreck here as everybody tries to get slowed up and the big one in Atlanta has happened. Who can survive this race here today? We knew there was going to be a big wreck since it was configured to a super speedway, but I was not expecting at least 20 cars involved there. And we might have to get another replay of this. We're back here at Atlanta with a replay of the wreck that just happened before our eyes. And it looks like Denzel Scott was trying to get to the inside of the 55 car, and the 51 of Jer Jansen gets into the back of Denzel Scott and sends this whole wreck in motion. Going into turn one here at Atlanta, and Jer Jansen just punts Denzel Scott to the moon. And poor Tyler Seville was just an innocent victim, as well as the roughly 20 cars that I counted under caution got involved in this one. Some with major damage, some with just barely a couple scuffs, but this was a timely and very unfortunate wreck for many drivers here in this race. And we're back here at Atlanta Super Speedway. After a big wreck taking out many contenders here today, Ellie Bus will take the green flag, and we'll get about 10 laps to go left in this race. Green flag's out, and the contenders in the top of the field are ready to go at it here for the end of this race. Looks like the 9 and the 55 are getting together there, trying to mount a charge to Ellie Bus. We'll see if it works. Ooh, the 55 might take a look to the inside of the 9. Nope, and the 55 of Marin Kozarch takes the foot off the gas there and doesn't try and do anything crazy. But, oh, the 99's looking inside the 18. Wow, and no contact was made there. I'm surprised. That almost looked like Denzel Scott's incident there where Scott was trying to look to the inside of, I believe, the 55. Same car that was involved, or same car that was trying to be passed in that last caution. Oh, and we have a pass for the lead. Deacon Gentleman in the nine car has taken the lead from Ellie Bus. 17 of 26 complete, about to be 18 of 26 here, complete in Atlanta for the quick trip 40. A little bit of smoke on the speedway. I believe there might be a caution. Let's take a look and there caution lights are on and we've got another wreck here at Atlanta and we're back here at Atlanta let's take a look at the incident that unfolded Jerry Funk on the outside got pinned into the wall by the 87 of Paris Riley and the 48 of I believe that is Roland Heidfeld and Jerry Funk goes for a ride of his life here at Atlanta definitely not the day Jerry Funk wanted to have here but he ended up having it and is upside down and now on pit road. Unfortunate end for Jerry Funk, but let's get back to the, oh! And Paris Riley gets spun by the 93, I believe, after the incident. Must not be happy with that. And we're back here at Atlanta from Jerry Funk's wild ride. And it looks like Deegan Gentleman has the lead over LA Bus. And we're gonna have about four laps here to go at Atlanta. Deacon Gentleman with a nice jump there. The 55 looks low below Ellie Bus. Maybe the 55 can mount a charge against Deacon Gentleman in that number nine car for Richard Petty Motorsports. 
The number seven of Brandy Harper has been strong all day, and that seven machine looks to the inside of Marin in the 55. Maybe the pace, uh, maybe the pole sitter for both races might win. You never know. But Deacon Gentleman in that number nine machine for Richard Petty, he's got a nice lead here. He's hoping no more cautions. Sean Carson, he's had a strong day all day, but inside the top five. Ellie Buss has dropped back a little bit. Looks like that 21 car of, I believe, is Trevor Walker having a really good run. I believe I saw him in the back of the pack early in this race, and he survived both crashes. Jerry Funk flying through the air and that other wreck earlier in the race. So he's having a good, strong run. Seven car in the 55, maybe working together here. Brandy Harper with a late race charge might be able to steal the win from Deacon Gentleman and be two for two for pole sitter winners here in the ARCS thus far. But it looks like the 55 is gonna have a look to the inside of the nine and there's a pass for the lead with two laps to go. The 55 might lead to the stripe here. Nine's gonna give a charge here on the outside, but the 55 is gonna lead the lap. Two to go here at Atlanta. A three car battle for the lead as the seven car of Brandy Harper looks low below Deacon Gentleman for second place trying to get past Deacon to make a charge at the 55 for the race victory at Atlanta. Well, when the 33 dives low below both of them and might take the spot. I believe that is Ellie Buss. And there's only what we're to the final lap here at Atlanta and Ellie Buss is gonna have second place, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough. Oh, and they make contact 33 below the yellow line and almost comes up in front of the seven car and takes him out. I think that's what Marin Kozarch needed to take this race away from the rest of the field. We'll see into the final quarter here. Seven car with a strong dive bomb, but the 99 is gonna dive bomb harder, but is on the brakes. And I believe that's gonna give the 55 of Marin Kozarch the victory at Atlanta for the quick trip 50. We're back here at Atlanta Super Speedway. Let's take a look at the top 10 drivers that finished today's race and survived the carnage. Stealing the win away from Deacon Gentleman is Marin Kozaric. In second place, Brandy Harper, the pole sitter. In third, Ellie Buss with a strong charge at the end, but ultimately got dive bombed by Harper. In fourth, Sean Carson with a fairly good run all day inside the top 10. Fifth, Deacon Gentleman, in sixth, Noah Hobson. In seventh, Beth Sanders. In eighth, Trevor Walker. In ninth, Elias Goodbyes. And rounding out your top 10, Dre Heron. And now, let's take a look at the rest of today's field. 